Welcome to World Have Your Say. Hello, I'm Shaima Khalil. Many of you are celebrating after unofficial results indicated Aung San Suu Kyi had won a parliamentary seat in a landmark election. The official results will be released in a few days, but now your conversation is about whether this means real change for the Burmese people. Now, it is important to point out that the elections are for 45 out of 1,000 parliament seats. Thousands of tweets have been coming in on different hashtags. Burma, ASSK, and Burma elections are among the most popular. Here's one tweet saying, Even if Aung San Suu Kyi gets a landslide win, will she have the power to change anything? If you're on Twitter, send us your questions using hashtag WHYS. You can also get involved in the debate on our Facebook page or call us here in the studio, country code plus 44 2070 83 72 72. You can post on Facebook.com slash World Have Your Say or get in touch via Twitter at BBC underscore WHYS. Welcome to the program. Aung San Suu Kyi warned her supporters that they should practice self-control and not upset the other side. This was in a speech after her party announced the NLD uh, that they that she had won in her constituency and that they are likely to get most of the seats. Now, you have been asking whether this will really change anything, but also you've been getting in touch to tell us about your experience in the voting process. Now, let's start from Burma and get in touch with Amber. Amber, I know this is not your real name, but tell me how you find the whole voting process? Um, I've heard so many um, news and a lot of people are saying that um, there are a lot of irregularities and uh, misdemeanors. And um, so, however, we still won the election, so we are very excited. And how are you feeling um, as a young Burmese person? Do you think that this ushers a new, you know, new beginning for the for the democracy in Burma in your country definitely 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 it's it's amazing um, I, I don't even know how to express my feelings we're so excited we're so happy because we have never I mean we have never experienced something like this before and um, I simply cannot believe this is happening we have lived in fear for so long and um, this is like a dream come true and um, Amber, I know that you're with your mother and she's also been involved. Anna, um, I know this is not your re real name, but also if we could speak to your mother. Anna, how are you feeling um, at this moment? Just one moment. Thank you. Hello. Hi, Anna. Welcome to the program. Hi. Yes, thank you. How are you feeling at the moment? Well, I'm feeling very jubilant. Because the NLD has won uh, very convincingly, so I'm very happy and I'm very uh, uh, hopeful for the future of the country. Now, there are um, some irregularities that have been reported, but that doesn't seem to discourage any of the people involved in the voting process. Yes, uh, the people seem to be uh, very enthusiastic <clears throat> and so... They wouldn't let any misdemeanors or irregularities, you know, spoil the spoil the enthusiasm. And they seem to have uh, taken hold of things yesterday. Now, let me bring Saxit Seimbot in. He is a blogger based in Germany. He's a Thai blogger based in Germany and uh, on the blog Seimbot.com. Sa uh, um, Saxit, is, that, is this how you're feeling? about the voting process and about the elections that have just happened in Burma. Um, yeah, thanks for having me on the show. First of all, um, congratulations to the Burmese people for, um, for, for the symbolic victory. I guess it is definitely um, a very monu 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 monumentous um, event that happened there. So, yeah, but I agree, I agree with all of it with you that it really has to be seen what comes next. Anna, would you like to respond to Saxit? Well, I followed the voting closely, and uh, I was quite worried because there were many reports from from my friends, my, from my fellow activists, and all, all over the polling stations. And there are many reports of widespread, you know, irregularities. Uh, but in the end, well, the people have steadfastly, you know, they have, they have, they they don't get, they didn't get disappointed and they just went on and voted and and the result is now that we have a we have the NLD in the parliament 
Um, this is a question that I'd like to put to both of you, Sakthit and Anna. Uh, there is um, a fear that this is too all too premature optimism, that we still have to see what happens next before we say that this is a landslide victory, that this is the victory of democracy in Burma. Sakthit, I'd like to get your view, and then Anna, if you'd like to come in. Well, I guess um, we, will ha we will, as I said before, we will have to see first not only the official results, but also we have to say how many seats she gets in Parliament and um, what, what power she brings to the Parliament to actually bring change. I mean, I guess that uh, she will have an um, uphill battle to, to, to bring any change to, to the country. But I guess um, what the, her victory will also bring some kind of, I think, in a shift and also in a shift of understanding and also grassroots movement. I, I mean... If I if I see the if I see the pictures and the footage, then they must have um, made a huge campaign. And if they bring that momentum on, well, we'll An see. Anna. Well, in my opinion, uh, yesterday's election was uh, more like a referendum you know, rather than an election, because the people had the people spoke uh, their feelings very openly and very uh, courageously. So whether uh, I think the number of seats in the parliament doesn't really matter because uh, the results prove that, uh, prove whom the people like and whom the people, people doesn't like. So that's one big answer. And we can move forward from there. So, so do you really think, to both of you, is, is, it, is it more a referendum for Aung San Suu Kyi or a referendum against the establishment that we have so far? Well, the people have shown that they prefer Aung San Suu Kyi to the present government. There's no doubt about that. Well, let me bring in uh, Mio Thane. He's the director of Burma Democratic Concern, and he's here in the studio with me. Uh, would you like to respond to uh, Saxit's question? Well, um, this is uh, obviously people are reaffirming their support for our leader, Dr. Aung San Suu Kyi. But it is not the first time they have shown their desire and support for her. And since less 20 years ago, in 1990 election, they voted for her overwhelmingly and their, her party, National League for the Democracy, won landslide. Again, even though it is the by-election by yesterday, people voted for her and also her party landslide. It shows that people of Burma believe in her and people of Burma are ready to follow her leadership. And a lot of the people are saying that it is only a few seats, um, more than only 40 seats in the parliament out of the, you know, hundreds of the seats uh, occupied mostly by the, by the, uh, the eight military commandos and also the occupied mostly by the, uh, the eight uh, gender leaders. But having said that, um, uh, as a democratic activist by myself, I would say uh, one too many to have a seat for Dr. Aung San Suu Kyi in the parliament. I do believe that she got the influence on the Burmese people. And I also do believe that she will also have the same influence on the MPs in the parliament trying to amend the illegitimate rules and the law in the constitution. So as she said uh, before she entered into the election, she wanted to do three more, most important things in Burma to achieve the peace to amend the constitution and also to restore the rule of law in Burma. They are the very important things and I believe that she can do that. Well, let's bring in AJ. He's in uh, Rangoon. AJ, do you believe that Aung San Suu Kyi can make those changes that she's promised? Impossible. Impossible. Impossible? She is too... Yes, she is, she is, she is too inexperienced. Her party is too inexperienced. In fact, each of the political parties of Myanmar are too inexperienced to rule Myanmar. Believe me, I've been here two and a half years. And as per your comments about about Myanmar... And I would like to I've jump been, in that. Um, what, what you, this... if, um, Mia, if you just let AJ finish and then you can jump in. AJ, continue. Make your uh, point, what, please. Uh, what, 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 what people feel about Myanmar is totally different. Uh, it is the most safest country in the world and I can I can vouch for that. I have been to over 37 countries in my lifetime. You cannot get a more safer place in Myanmar 
in the world than Myanmar. And that well, is uh, I would like to jam in because, you know, you said the impossible. Please, 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 but, you know, it is good to have the, you know, um, the cautious. But, you know, um, we also need to work together, including yourself. And if you don't do anything and then you can't say that it is impossible, you know, we are blessed to have the no, Do'an Sen Suji as our leader. That, that, that's not, that's but... Not you know, we need to be optimistic and we need to open our AJ, options. AJ, just hang on one second. Let and me finish this point. We need Go to you. open our, you know, options. And also we need to do everything possibly we can. We cannot live in only in the dreams or we cannot only live in the illusion. We need to live in the pragmatic and realistic war. So Dong Sen Suji is doing the best for the country. And with her leadership, we definitely will achieve the democracy and I believe that she can lead the people to amend the constitution. Amber, would you like to respond to AJ? Yeah. AJ is saying it is impossible for Aung San Suu Kyi and her party to achieve any of the changes they've promised. What do you say to that? Um, I, I do not agree with him. And um, I think... You can speak directly to him. He's there. ...gathered together and um, rally behind her. Um, by 2015, um, we will... We would have won all the seats in the parliament, and um, changes will be coming. Listen, 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 I, uh, listen, uh, listen, I know. Keeping my hopes up. I know that everyone is behind her. Everyone is behind her. I know that that's why she she's won with this. Where she has gone on 99% of the vote. She has taken a sweeping majority. She had done that in 1990 before. And this time, there's not going to be a problem. She will not be unseated, unseated like, like she was done. I think you are underestimating her. No, no, we, we, are, we are not underestimating her. She has to prove herself. You know, she has been given a chance. She has to prove herself. Whereas this government, the government current, whether, whether it is of the, of the you know, the erstwhile junta rulers, they are doing a great job for the country. Believe me, you have to be here to see this. Every day, something new and something better is happening. Mio is smiling at this, AJ. He's laughing. You know, it is like, you know, we are like, you know, daydreaming or we are like, you know, hearing about the dream. Actually, you know, what he has been saying is like, you know, pro, pro gentle propaganda. As my brother, who is in Burma, his name is Mio Yanang Thay, and he spent a decade in the prison. And, you know, we know very well about how gentle torture the prisoners and also how the family members are suffering. Having said that, also, also after his release from the prison, Miu Yanaldi himself, working very closely with the Do'on San Suu Kyi. So I would like to point out here again that Do'on San Suu Kyi is not alone. She got thousands of thousands of new generation leaders and you and other himself is one of the icebreaker who supported NLD to re-register re as the official legal party and enter the election so if you see only one point you can see very clear that you know people of Burma love her and she can lead the way as a you know very courageous leader and um, she will transfer her leadership and you know uh, she will distribute her knowledge to the new generation to come and under her leadership, people of Burma will enjoy the freedom in in practical way. There's no, there's no debate. There's no debate that the whole country is behind Aung San Suu Kyi and that she has she has the support of all the young generation. The point here is whether she can rule Myanmar and whether she can bring the positive changes. Not as of now. It is not the easy it's way, but easy it is not the easy way, but you know, um, since Dawn says that she got the support of the people, you know, she can lead definitely because, yes, uh, too much, too much, there, there will be too much democracy, and too much democracy is always bad. I am from the biggest democracy in the world, that is India. I know what too much democracy can do to the people, and Myanmar does not want too much democracy at this time, point of time. Myanmar wants a slow release of democracy and then only will this country remain the golden land, the green and clean Myanmar I love.
If you've just joined us, um, sorry, Ajay, let me just remind our listeners, if you've just joined us, you're listening to World Have Your Say, and this is a comment that came in. Thomas in Mozambique posts on our Facebook page saying, I'm wondering why the West is so interested in this election. Why do they want, what do they want in this poor country? And Oliver in Mombasa says, Asia's own Mandela. Congratulations, Burma, for pr- proving all the skeptics wrong. Remember, you can get in touch on our Facebook page. Just go to Facebook World Have Your Say or to on Twitter on the hashtag WHYS. You can also get in touch by phone on country code plus four four twenty seventy eighty three seventy two seventy two. Let me bring back Saxit uh, Sayambut. Uh, Saxit, what do you make of AJ's comments that Burma is not ready for democracy yet and that um, the military led government is actually doing a good job in the country at the moment? Well, I mean, um, I'm coming from a country, Thailand, which has uh, a very spotted past um, with itself as well, and is also struggling to maintain or introduce a democratic system as well. And what um, and one of the recent submissions that you just brought up is actually is a good point. Why is there so much attention by um, by the Western media, by the world media, on this special election? I mean, I think I'm not I'm not trying to diminish this whole thing because it is. I think it is important that the world watches on this country, but at the same time, I'm also amazed that at least there is the perception or at least um, the um, kind of sort of the illusion that Myanmar is opening up. It is getting more democratic, while my country, Thailand, is drifting more and more into uh, into authoritarianism each, by each year. Well, uh, I would like to add on that, you know, um, Burma is ready, ready for the democracy and the freedom. Um, I would like to also answer the, the question raised by the, my, uh, my friend from, from, you know, from the lie and saying that but too much democracy is not good. Um, in my opinion, this is not totally right because this is not about the democracy. This is about the people who you are working. Maybe you are um, trying to say about the corruption in India. Yeah, in Burma, there uh, we got a lot of the corruption in the past decades. Stay is the biggest challenge for the Dao San Suu Kyi. But it doesn't mean that Burmese people don't deserve the democracy. We have been longing for democracy for so many decades. Uh, um, thousands of the lives have been lost. So we want to seek this once in a lifetime opportunity in Burma to open the new era, to open the new chapter for the betterment of the country and the people. We want to see the Burma as a nation, the peaceful, prosperous and the progress country and the, you know, all the ethnic people of Burma living peacefully and harmoniously under the leadership of our Dong San Suu Kyi. Well, let me bring in a comment here. This is an anonymous anonymous person that um, uh, sent us this comment saying, I did not vote. Perhaps I'm I'm alone here. Everybody voted for NLD. Even though Dosu was one of my most admired figures, I do not support her and her party. And he gives many reasons, or she gives many reasons. One, she supported or still probably supports the sanctions. I don't like her candidates. Most of her candidates are activists and are very pessimistic views um, towards the government. And three, um, they say, I believe that this is not the right time to fight with the uh, union, with, with the USDP, with the, the, the government. What do you say, Mia? Well, this is not the time for the uh, neutral or the third force. Um, this is time for the either you are supporting the democracy or not supporting. You cannot be the neutral in our fight for the democracy in Burma. But so this is something? not the, you know, it is the time. It is always the time, you know, to fight against the injustice in Burma. And yes, you know, they are the activists because we don't have the platform in Burma to participate for the activists in the democratic way, such as parliament. Saxa, did you want to come in? Yeah, I want to throw in something, and also this is a question for all of you here in the, in the round. So, um, it is all very f- fixed on the person, Dao Aung San Suu Kyi, very much. I mean, it, it is more or less like a personality cult, and more or less. We have that in the other countries as well. I mean, I, I remember Aquino in the Philippines. So, do you think um, that it is um, that this, all this movement is possible that it, it, because you have a figure, that you have a person who really leads this and um, leads this movement. I mean, in Thailand, we don't have that. Amber, what do you think? Pardon? I couldn't hear properly. Can you please repeat the question? Saxit was saying that this election is very focused on one person, on a leading figure. Yes. And is this, is this a problem? She is, she is, she is, 
I agree with the fact that she is a symbol for all of us, and she is a symbol for Burma, and um, and that is the reason why we mean the NLD win the election. It's because of her, because so, the people love her as symbol as that. So should democracy be led by one person as opposed to the notion of democracy or a party? Um. I mean, uh, the NLD is her, and she is the NLD. So uh, for me, it's the same. I do not see two separate entities coming out of this. But um, exactly, uh, exactly. Here, here is what I want to say on this: is that you know she, she is the DNA of the NLD. Okay, AJ, come in, please. I mean, she, the way I see it, she, she she is the right person in the wrong party. And what are we talking about democracy? There is democracy in Myanmar. Everyone can say what they are saying. There are processions. People are gathering. The media is free. There's no censorship. The movie halls are coming in. All the Indian and Bollywood movies are coming in without any. There is democracy. Why are we saying that there is no democracy? And for a democracy, believe me, we do not need an Aung San Suu Kyi. Aung San Suu Kyi has been overhyped by the Western countries, and she is actually holding the country to ransom. And because she knows that it is because of, if she gives the law, the sanctions will be lifted. And she has, since, since the past five days, she has been saying that the elections are not free and fair. They are not being allowed, uh, that there is a problem with the voting list. And she gets AJ, thank you so much for bringing those points. Let's bring in Saxit. What do you think? <laughs> Sorry, I just have to pick up there. It, um... I don't think that there that there is an influx of parliament meetings doesn't mean that there is free speech at the moment. I still think that um, and Burma is still a country where the uh, freedom of expression is still n not a very rare. I mean, I think the others would agree with me. Right, Mia, what do you what do you make of this? Well, you know, um, as you know, we believe in the democratic system, and if we believe in democracy, we need to encourage the plural relationship. But you know, we are very uh, blessed to have the Do Aung San Suu Kyi, who can unite the whole Burma. I mean, the, uh, the different ethnic groups and the different religions. And for the you know democratic um, democratization of the Burma, we need the strong leader like herself, like herself. So it is like right timing with the right leadership. Definitely, we will get there. All right. Well, thank you all very much for speaking to us. Just a couple of comments before we go. Grace asks us on Twitter, how is this result going to affect the Burmese government's plans? And Albert in Ghana posts on our Facebook saying, I am celebrating and cautious as well because the military junta can be so unpredictable. Thank you so much, uh, Mia Thane, Director of Burma Democratic Concern, for joining me. Saxit Saimbot, Thai blogger based in Germany, and Anna and Amber from Burma. And of course, AJ for joining us on the phone.